Welcome to Board Games Daddy. Have you ever heard or seen Maze Escape? This is a small box that contains some puzzling challenges involving labyrinths. I have I've never played this game. I've never seen the inside, but I was curious because now when I'm shooting this video, more of these Maze Escape editions are are being released into the market. So this was done by Pablo Caspinis and Vitor Hugo Cisternas, apparently Spanish authors. Um, and this edition is Maze Escape Labyrinthos. Um, there's another one in the market already for, I believe the, the, the team is Greek and Minotaurs, you know, the Minotaur from the Labyrinth, and the two more that are going to be released have different, different teams. So this seems to be the base one, the first one, without a specific team, so that's why I acquired this one to uh, get myself into Maze Escape. So this is going to be a crazy experience with you guys here on the video, because I've never seen what's inside, I've never played, just uh, some quick demos, so I truly don't know what I'm going to find. So let's experience this unboxing together. So at least this edition from my country has this metallic box. Yep, so this is metallic. You see? Yep, cool. And you open, and what you find inside are paper. Wow, look at that. This is game. So it's a card box with a metallic lock that comes with many paper. And Pencil, a wooden pencil, but this does not leave any scratches, it's just for you to point, right, and help you navigate around. Okay, so, you have rules in Spanish, rules in English, rules in French, rules in French, yeah. Uh, uh, maybe it's uh, it's Basque, Barcelona, Portuguese, and Italian, no French, all oh, tools in many languages. And then you have labyrinths 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different labyrinths for you to work around. I'm going to put, I'm going to get the English rules just to show you. If we can understand together how to play this. Oh, sorry, this is not the English, English ones. This one. English. Okay. Maze Escape is a puzzle that transports you to a mysterious world that is solitary and intricate and full of paths that are constantly changing. As you open and close the sections that make up the puzzle, you will discover different routes that lead you to madness or take you to the impossible triangle, which is your goal is to get that triangle, which will transport you back to the real world or, if you like, to another maze escape. Okay, so there's some kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this for you to track your achievements? Yeah. Yeah, so finding your way out, finding the three gold coffins, turning on the, the light switch, and at least finding six lamps maybe. And the more you go, the more complex it becomes. So introduction. In this box you'll find seven different mazes. Each maze is independent from the other. Okay, preparation. You will have to play on a table on a flat surface, okay. Use the pointer, which is this. The pointer must never be lift. Okay. Secondary object objectives, like we've seen. Okay. Okay. There is a folding challenge here that we are going to figure it out. How to move around the labyrinths. Okay. There's some teleports apparently. And uh, what is this final challenge here? 
Once you've completed all the maze escapes in this edition with all their secondary objectives, then you can try the final challenge. Light all the lanterns using the light you found on maze escape 7. You must go through all the maze escape from 1 to 7 again in a single session, passing over the lanterns that appear in each maze escape before exiting through the impossible triangle. Wow. Is this a lantern? These are the lanterns? I don't know exactly, but yeah, let's take a look at Labyrinth number one. As a reminder, you have you have here how to fold. Let's see if it's the same or not. It looks like it. Just look at the other one. And uh, so you start on the this this thing and the name the compounds. As you see the and uh, you have three golden copies and the roll here which is the other one. So it starts like this. You put them as I mentioned before. And you have your pointer. Different. You can grab your pointer. Then you go, you go, and you need to get there, right? So you go, and there's nothing you can do here. Okay, you can go anywhere. So what you'll try to do is you'll try then to lift second page and apparently you get a new path this right there's a new path that can take you somewhere there then you're gonna wear there's a there's a boat block there but then you can try and do this so it's okay and so once you do that it opens a new path like this right you go you go you go and oops Am I on a dead end here? Yeah, apparently I found a dead end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm going to lift and see if it helps. No, it doesn't help. So it doesn't help much. Yeah. But yeah, I can touch the lamp, for example. A lamp, I can scratch a lamp. And I can try to go back. So I don't know the solution, right? I'm going here. Here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift now this side and see if it helps. So I go this way, I scratch the lamp there. Oh, I found a new path here. Go, I go, 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 I go, I go, go. Oh, I found the light switch to turn the light switch on, and I can go there and I can scratch. I also found another golden path and I found another light switch. Um, do something else, I go here, no, oh, I, there's a stairs here, okay, I can go, I can go around, and I found, haha, another, <laughs> another golden thing, and uh, where's the exit, okay, oh, okay, 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 so now I can go back, go this way, go here, no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck here, uh, I'm we can always turn around like this. Oh, you see? And I got to the end and I'm teleported into the next labyrinth, which is, oh, it has now doors, apparently, that I need to open. Or I need to walk around those doors. Just take an overview of the challenge. Oh, there's some animals here. This is stuff that looks like the, those puzzle computer games, but in using a paper. I think it it's interesting to try, but I'm not totally convinced this is my kind of game. Um, I'll try with the kids as well. So you start here, you need to get there. So every time you open for the first time, you always see the starting point and the ending point. Then you need to unfold and find the proper way to get there. And then somehow it changes to a different topic here, more yellow desert-like uh, maze, okay, and the exit here, so there's a starting point, but there's no exit apparently visible already, find the coffin, find the skulls, yeah, this is like a more cowboy, cowboy environment, starting point, but no end point, not sure if the kids will like this. And this is for eight years old. Hmm. 
Now mountains and thunderstorms and cave caves and the last one with some lava as well. Lava themed map. Okay. That's I would love to show you. Oh this one unfolds differently. Yeah, this one unfolds to the top. Yeah, looks different here. Would love to show you all the details, but this is too complex for me to venture all myself and show you all the all the things. So maybe I think you pretty got the idea. Things you got the idea, right? So these are the seven things, the seven labyrinths that come. I'll try this first one and see if it's worthy to invest and and acquire the the remaining three going to appear on the market but anyway i hope you enjoyed this if so don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like share with all your friends um the best way for you to support this channel at this stage would be to subscribe and help the channel to grow and i have lots of interesting stuff in the channel regarding um, board games trading card games lego anything so i invite you to visit and to follow me thank you see you in the next one Bye bye